what's up people y'all doing all right today hope so anyhow um i'm out here on the homestead and i've got some plans today i've got several things i got to do today one of which is i need to go over to the garden and harvest i need to go over here and i've got some uh bushes over here that i think need to go in the uh in the ground um over here in the food forest so let me show you which ones i'm planning on on putting in the ground today this one right here is a prolific kiwi i cannot remember where i got it from it was somebody on etsy maybe this is a gooseberry bush and i got this from tractor supply store this is a currant bush it's looking real rough in fact, I might even think it was dead, except for it's got these new leaves on it. The currant bush and the gooseberry will be going in here, right over here in the food forest, in this bare area near the blueberry bushes. These currant bushes are supposed to be blue currants. Uh, King Edward the Seventh, or something like that. And I think I got those off of Etsy as well. We're going to see if they'll thrive in this area. It's hot and humid here in Mississippi, but uh, you don't know if you don't try, right? I know they are supposed to be, you know, hardy in zone eight, which we're in zone eight A. This old dog learned a new trick. I was sitting here working on checking the ground level on the, uh, for the gooseberry. And I came across something. I always have a tendency to do what I call scarify the edges so that they don't have that slick edge that a shovel produces or that a shovel makes. Anyhow, a lot of times I'll try to make sure the ground is loose, you know, a little bit below where I'm planting. I'm not trying to make it sink, but I want to make sure that, you know, roots have somewhere to grow. The same tool I'm using to kind of loosen up that dirt will also scarify those sides really well. If you take a look in here, you'll see the marks where I've been uh, putting the garden fork in. Your roots are looking really good. We'll tease them out just a little bit so that they'll know that they're free. they'll know it's okay to go search. Search for moisture, search for nutrition. I think I'm gonna orient it like this so that, uh, well, the sun's on the other side of it, so hopefully it'll reach for that sun. Anyhow, I'm just gonna add, at this point, I'm just gonna add the native soil back around it and uh, let it go. Reapply the mulch around it, taking care and attention not to get it too close to the base or the crown of the gooseberry bush. Okay, we've got the soil put back around it and we've brought a bucket of water. And it's not quite a full bucket, but that's just what rained last night, I guess, came off the roof. Anyhow, we're gonna pour this water on the plant just to get eliminate any well around it to eliminate any air pockets last thing we're going to do is we're going to rake this mulch back around it and we're going to let it go we're going to go get something else planted one down two more to go i've dug the hole for the king edward bush and i've checked the level on it it's looking pretty good I've scarified the outside. It's at least twice, the hole's at least twice the size of the container. Anyhow, one other thing that I have done is for the most part, if you'll look on this side, you'll see all that red clay. Over here on the other side, I basically got what was on top of the ground sitting under this mulch or right up against the mulch. And it's richer soil. That's what's going to be going down into the hole around the roots. 
the whole thing kind of tore up when I brought it out. I'm going to tease out these roots because it never seemed to, the roots never seemed to come outside of this small area that small bucket that it was in to begin with. So we're going to loose, loosen them up. Make sure that that's about ground level when we put the other around it. That should be good right about there. We're going to take this rich soil here and we've broken it up, but we'll continue to break it up as we put it down around the around the roots. Some native soil, some compacted clay is going to get in there, but clay holds the nutrients and does a pretty good job of holding water. It actually does too well a job of holding water. Anyhow, we'll make it a point to spread the rich dirt out, or the richer part of the soil around the roots. Time to put the water in. I've created like a well effect around. Make no mistake that plant is planted at ground level. But I've piled up a little bit of dirt around it just so that it can help hold in a little bit of water. The only thing left to do is going to be mulch. And uh, mulch around this. It's been my experience in my short gardening career that wherever you pile up organic material, that the worms have a tendency to come. And make no mistake about it, worms are good for plants. If you ever want to catch worms, all you got to do is put some newspaper or something down on the ground. And wet them down with water. Or put them down during a rainy time. Anyhow. This is pretty thick mulch right here. But I think it's going to be all right. Last thing I got going on today, at least that I'm going to plant, I still have to harvest out in here in the garden. I'll try and make that pretty quick. But last thing I've got going here is I'm going to plant a uh, prolific kiwi. Makes quarter size fruits about. Anyhow, I hear they taste just like ki a regular kiwi, only smaller. Here's the kiwi plant. I've got some garden soil mix that I'm going to be putting around it. And we got water to put it to water it in. I'm putting it here. This is ordinarily I would put it over closer to the other items in the food forest, but this has got a ready-made site for it. Uh, I put this up last year. This is a cow pedal, it's capable Trellis. of holding a lot of weight. That little plant right there is supposed to be able to put up 100 to 200 pounds of fruit on a good year, so it's going to need something with lots of support. I did go through and put a little bit of mulch around it I had some old hay sitting over there that'll protect the ground pretty well and i threw a little bit of alfalfa pellets around it all right that should do it okay another day well i reckon that's it for today got to go get ready for my paying job Go put another eight hours If this in. is your first time coming here, thanks for visiting. If you're returning, man, we appreciate that. Leave a comment. I really love interacting with folks and seeing what they think about what's going on out here in the food forest and the garden. Y'all have a blessed day.